It's great having you here. Yeah, yeah, nice to see, to you, see you both. So it was so amazing seeing this competition last night, the two of you going head to head. But what was wild, I think, in everybody's minds is knowing how you guys really became friends. Right. So what is the secret behind the scenes of how it feels before a performance like that, knowing one of you is getting tossed your mind? Well, I don't know about this guy, but I was, a, I was, just, a, I was just nervous. <laughs> I was all over the place. Um, we became friends before the blind auditions. I used to and I, I call him my little brother, encourage him, get him ready. And uh, when CeeLo called our names and said that we'd be singing against each other, I know my heart dropped. And uh, we initially went into it just saying, man, let's, let's make it a duet. Let's make it hard for him, right? Mm. Yeah. That's yeah. What and sadly, obviously, somebody has to get tossed off. Jamie. Sorry, sorry, man. It, it, it happened. Let's watch how that played out on the show last night. Roll it. <laughs> sorry. I don't know if I can that again. Stop now. Stop now. Today's winner of, of the battle is Jamar. Oh, wow. And Jamie, I, I'm watching you really maintaining your composure. I don't know what was going on in your head, but what, give me the secret of what happens beforehand. Do they, do they tell you, all right, now keep in mind, one of you is getting tossed off. You really have to do your best to keep it together and be prepared that that may be either one of you. I mean, there's a lot that goes into the whole process, you know, and uh, you, in order to just be on the show, you have to kind of build yourself up mentally and um, really be ready for whatever is going to come. And uh, I mean, at that moment, if I could have lost to anybody, it would have been Jamar. Oh. Um, and uh, I mean, I just, it, it, was, it was right. And, uh, you know, it's not to say that my life hasn't changed for the better, because it definitely sure. has. Sure. And, and uh, I mean, I, I don't feel like this is the end, so. I don't think so at all. And, and that's the big deal about getting on one of these shows. Obviously, it was a big decision for both of you to say, hey, okay, I'm going to give this a try. But Jamar, what for you made more sense to do The Voice rather than a show like, say, American Idol? Well, CeeLo Green is the, is the biggest difference. You know, I'm a, I'm a huge CeeLo fan. <laughs> and uh, when, I, when I saw the first season, I saw he was coaching, I, I started thinking about, I just wanted to meet him. I just wanted to shake his hand. But then, you know, to take it a little bit further, I love what, something that CeeLo says. He says he's the exception to the rule. You know, he doesn't look like your typical pop star. Oh, no. And, you know, <laughs> with the story and, and the background that I come from, I shouldn't be your typical pop star. Right. And so I felt like the voice would allow me to be the exception so to the, the rule. So the shoe kind of fit. Was that sort of how you felt as well, Jamie? Absolutely. Um, I mean, I, I've definitely never been somebody that you can fit into one little genre. And the main thing from the get-go with the voice is that they encourage you to be yourself. And the one thing I want my music to be about is, is believing in yourself and just being yourself and putting it all out there for everyone to see. Not everybody can pull off those glasses. I would say you did a good job of being yourself. You. It's really great to meet you both. I know you'll do well. And Jamar, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what you do next on the show. Thank you so much, AJ.